What's going on, ladies and gents? Hope this video finds you well wherever you are in the world today. Um, I'm going to be very brief with you guys today. Just wanted to hop on here and encourage you all as I encourage myself to um, to stay focused, you know, keep doing the right thing, keep choosing God, um, choosing to pursue and live a righteous life and to honor God with the life that you live and you lead um, is never easy and it never will be. You know, you need God just as much as you did when you first got saved today. You know, um, every single day I, I have to submit myself unto God because um, my carnal nature, my flesh, you know, um, always wants what it wants. And I have those moments of weakness, you know, where I, I want to go backwards and I, and I want to get deterred. And today um, I had a conversation with one of my brothers and we were both just honest in our conversation, you know, just having an accountability session today. I'm just like, bro, like these are some of the thoughts that I've been having. I've been having, you know, um, some battles that I've been really having to face. And he was just like, bro, just stay encouraged, man. You know, like don't go backwards, keep pushing, keep fighting. Um, and he just reminded me like, it'll never be easy. It always takes work. It always takes discipline um, and, and, and doing the right thing, you know, but we do become stronger. We do become more self-aware of being able to notice temptations and distractions and things as they come along, but understand that God has a greater purpose than whatever that thing is that the devil's trying to distract you with. And I just want to encourage you all with that as I encourage myself that doing the right thing never gets easy, but it, it is always worth it you know, pursuing living a righteous life. I want to encourage you to continue to keep your hands clean, keep your heart pure. Allow that to always be the goal. Perfection is always the goal, though we'll never be perfect. That is always the mark that we're chasing after and pursuing every single day. And as a, as a single man, I had those days where I really get weak and I want to give up and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being different. I'm tired of always being the outcast. I'm tired of having to isolate myself in a way and not be like the rest of the world. And that gets weary some days, you know, but I'm thankful for my brother MJ. We had a great call today. He just pushed me and encouraged me. I think that's also important. You know, I know everybody doesn't have that person they can talk to in that manner, but I want to be that accountability partner for you today and just encourage you to keep going, keep pushing. You know, the organic route takes a little bit longer, but it produces nutrients. You know, the genetically modified, it looks pretty, it's, it's, it's produced very quickly, but it doesn't have the same taste, the same flavor, the same nutrients. You know, when we choose to go the organic route and we go natural, the journey looks a lot different. You know, it's a lot slower. It's not as pretty and beautiful as all, as the genetically modified journeys, you know, but it produces a fruit that actually has nutrients and substance. And that's the life that I desire to live and lead, something that is going to be lasting, something that actually produces substance um, when partaken. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, man. Just don't get weary doing good. Stay on track. Stay focused. We all have those days where we get discouraged. We get distracted. You know, if you stumble, get back up. You know, don't stay stuck there. Don't allow guilt and shame to keep you there. Understand that you 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 need God, you know. Um, you can't walk this journey alone of trying to just govern yourself. You, you, you never can. You'll always fall short because we're a part of this flesh. And this flesh always has carnal desires. It has its own wants and needs that the ego is attached to it. But just continue to just relinquish that, that part of you and just allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in your day-to-day -day life. And uh, yeah, but just wanted to share that real quick, you know, a quick organized rant. But anyways, I'll be back soon, guys. Peace.